My name is Tony Thomas, and you're watching Hardwired Exotics on YouTube. What's going on, YouTube? So, uh, yeah, this is a uh, this is a rundown on my day. Uh, get up this morning, go make some knives, work, get hot, sweaty, uh, come back to the snake shop. Uh, well, my wife did pick up lunch for me at least, so. I did have that going for me today. But anyway, grab some lunch real quick. Get in the snake shop. I got a couple packages that were supposed to go out today. Um, build boxes. Pack everything up. Uh, grab or go in, take a shower. Grab Blair because she wanted to go with. We kind of had a daddy daughter date thing planned this afternoon. Head out to register to drop snakes off. Literally just grabbed some uh rat food at the local feed store my buddy cody hits me up who i'm shipping two snakes to says hey man uh probably not shipping today right i'm like i'm on the way i mean i'm literally fixing to drop these things off in about 10 minutes he said well i've seen a post where they're having some bad storms in memphis maybe you should check it out before you ship i looked at my phone don't see any bad weather in memphis I don't know. He sends me an alert from one of the reptile shipping companies saying not to ship. So I call Reptiles Express, get them on the phone, and he's, they tell me probably not shipping today is just not a good idea because they're not going to get it tomorrow. It'll probably be Friday, if even Friday. Well, when when I heard that there's not even a chance for getting these snakes. Uh, the day after I ship, I'm not shipping, so... Anyway... Here I am. <laughs> Back in the snake shop. Re... I mean, uh, excuse me, uh, unpacking the snakes that I literally packed just a few hours ago. So... I've contacted most of the people that are getting snakes and told them what's going on and they were okay with it. They understand. Uh, still got a couple more that I haven't been able to get in touch with. But... I don't know what's going on with FedEx, but man, I don't know what's going on in this world. I mean, I don't know if anybody's seen my Facebook post the other day, but I'm back working in a body shop because they don't have anybody to work. Literally, one guy is working the whole body shop. Sorry for the kids in the background. Um, just been a hectic day and it just is what it is. Can't find nobody to work in a body shop. So I'm trying to help them out uh, as if I'm not busy enough. Back painting car, haven't painted car in two years. Boom, right back to freaking painting cars. But anyway, uh, working. I don't know what's going on in the world right now, but I am definitely uh, kind of pissed off at, at all the lazy people out there. So I'm ranting a little bit today. I ran a little bit on Facebook the other day. Uh, FedEx ain't helping. Just... This COVID stuff has literally messed up our entire world. Nothing operates and runs like it's supposed to. I'm sick and tired of people using COVID as an uh, excuse because at this point, that's what it is, is an excuse. But anyway, so uh, I'm almost done unpacking. <laughs> so let's see, I think Shane Kelly, uh, Shane actually grabbed another snake from me, kind of a last minute deal after I shipped him some last week. Um, I'm just going to save these boxes. So, uh, yeah. So when I found, the first thing I did, talking about heat packs, the first thing um, I did when I realized I wasn't going to ship these animals is I just went ahead and opened the box, instantly flipped the heat pack over. So there's absolutely no reason to run a heat pack unless absolutely necessary. I've talked about this a few weeks ago, so... Uh, yeah, waste of money. Heat pack, no longer even even good. So, time, gas, heat packs. At least I, I'm going to I'm going to reuse these boxes. Just reprint the label and put it over there. Yeah. Just a mess, guys. Uh, or guys and gals. 
Sorry, Cassie gets on to me. So, Cassie's trying to watch the kids and film, so sorry this isn't probably the best angle, but it is what it is. But, anyway, so Shane, you're not getting this snake. Sorry. I already told you that earlier today. Oh, it's frustrating, man. Uh, people just don't understand sometimes. It's hard enough for me to ship as it is being so far away from a FedEx hub. Um, FedEx won't even pick up here. Like, literally, will not. They don't even come here to pick up. So that's not even an option. Which, actually, today is a good thing because they probably already would have picked up had they been, uh, been picking up. So. Anyway, these guys just took a little... Uh, little trip <laughs> so we'll get them warmed up uh also something you know i don't feed the week that i'm shipping so i got a handful of snakes that are going to, have to warm up and i'm going to have to make a special trip out to the snake shop tomorrow uh to feed these guys because they didn't eat on their normal day a couple of days ago and i don't want them to go hungry so uh i mean it doesn't seem like much but it just messes everything up on the rotation so anyway uh little rant today just giving you a little brief um <laughs> scenario of what happens on almost a weekly basis here at uh pretty probably at any breeder uh nothing ever hardly ever goes right especially since covid so um anyway real life talk this is it screw fedex and we'll see y'all next week Thanks for watching Hardwired Exotics and make sure you subscribe. Bye!